2021. Um, getting into heating season now. Got a call from a guy. I was supposed to go do a services boiler a while back. Called him a bunch of times. He wasn't never answers the phone. He calls me back. It's like, well, you gotta pick up the phone if you want me to go. And I call. But anyway, I'm going over there now. Um, I don't think I've ever. I think I worked for him before. Did a couple of things, but I don't think I've ever worked on his burner. An oil fired burner. I'm just kind of curious if that biofuel's being used in this area. We'll check, we'll check it, we'll go change the nozzle, check the filters. I'm kind of curious if that biofuel is being used in this area, like I said. Hope not, but well, most likely. Leave it to the government to screw things up, change things around, and... They did that to the gasoline, they put all that ethanol bullshit in there. Same thing with this biodiesel. Gonna save the planet, mama. Yeah, all right. Don't burn as hot. They say it don't burn as hot, that biodiesel shit. So, yeah, they're, they're taking the fuel oil and they're mixing shit with it, so uh, it doesn't burn as good. It doesn't burn as hot. I mean, how stupid is that? Pretty stupid. Can't beat City Hall, though. Miss Molly. All you want is attention, Miss Molly. That's all you want is attention. That's it. Let's see if this thing... I wonder if it's good, though. We'll find out if it's in there or not, right? calling you a couple of times, no answer. So, no answer, I don't go, right? Right. Ooh, as loose as a goose. change the filter anyway while well, I'm here. This is the first time I've been here, so we'll uh, start fresh with all new stuff, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. So I hear there's no... Better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, so they're coming out with this new biodiesel. They're putting in the diesel fuel, and it doesn't burn as hot, and it really mucks the filters up. Mm -hmm. So the filters are going to have to be changed a lot more often. Same shit they did with the gas, you know? Mm -hmm. They put this flipping corn in the gas, ethanol or whatever it's called. Is it any better for the fuel? No, it's just... <laughs> It's actually worse, right? Well, leave, 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 leave gas in, in your uh, vehicle for a couple of years and you don't run it. you got to take it all apart. And all... What happened to that generator? I mean, that wasn't like that years ago. Years ago, the gas could be in there for 20 years. It was fine, right? Yeah. But new. No. Flipping idiots. You got to screw up a good thing, you know? Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm, I'm just ducky. It's the perfect weather for ducks. That's what I say. This is fun. We'll change the filter and we'll check the unit downstairs. I was telling your husband that they're, they're coming out with this, uh, they're adding stuff to the diesel now, what they call biodiesel. And it makes a, 
it makes the filters all mucky. Oh, yeah. Oh, they can't good. leave well enough alone. I, I mean, was just going to say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That's my model, but... Oh, man. They just keep doing, like, you just, I don't know. It's continuous. It's like these windmills, you know, they, they put these windmills up, right? What it costs for a windmill to put up and um, the, for the material, it's going to take 50 years to pay for the windmill. Well, they only last 25 years and they're no good, so how stupid is that? Same shit with this biodiesel stuff. Yeah. It doesn't burn as hot. And it's supposed to be better for the environment. Uh, you know. So I don't know. This is all what I'm going to say. I'm going to make a little remark about that. So if these dumb jackasses want us all to be environmentally conscious, they better stop flying their, in their private personal planes, and in some cases the ones our tax dollars pay for. Because I have a feeling that hurts the environment more than this. <laughs> Yeah, well, well now 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 idea. we're gonna now we're gonna have to deal with this. Uh, it doesn't look like you have any yet, so thank God. So we'll check the filter again next year. I've, I've been, you know, I've been pretty good with. You know, keeping, keeping up on it. I have. Yeah. I have all the tags downstairs. Yeah. Since we've been here, it's like consistent. Right. That's good that you yeah, do that. Yeah. I mean, I just don't let it go. That's the heart of the house, and that's the one thing I just don't want to. Hey, you don't want to play around with the heat. No. 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 And about the, what was leaking before? You called me something was leaking? What was this? I fixed it. I uh, managed it. This was leaking here, this valve. Oh, what did you so do to I it? I went to Home Depot and got one. And oh, you're going to put a new one in there. Yeah. The relief valve was leaking. Yeah. Okay. So we got it off here. We're going to check the check the nozzle. That's an old control. Yeah, sorry for about, about being pissed off, but, you know, these flipping idiots from the government really kind of get under my skin, you know? It's getting worse. We're always trying to reinvent the wheel here. Leave shit, leave, stuff, stuff's working fine, leave it alone, right? But no, gotta stop playing around with it. Adding this, adding that, for what? It's like this flipping Joe Biden guy, he's such a flipping idiot. We got more gas and oil in this country, and the idiots buying it from, uh, you know, Russia and shit. Yeah. I mean, how stupid is that? Well, that's pretty clean. But they want they want us to do this big spending package. They want to raise our taxes. According to him, it ain't gonna cost us nothing. Yeah, bullshit. Yeah. They're gonna raise the taxes. They're gonna put um, they're gonna put tax on on uh, natural gas. So if you've got natural gas in your house, you're going to pay a tax that's going to help pay for that. You know? That's in the bill there. They want to raise the... Wait until they start taxing the air you breathe. So, you know, I'm paying off and flipping taxes already. How long has it been since you had it serviced? Don't look bad, to be honest with you. Nice and clean. Eighty-five. Eighty-five, eighty-eight. It's good that you stay up on it like that, you know? You don't let it go. What happened to the other guy you were using? Like I said before, we used to buy the oil from them. Oh, yeah, if you don't buy the oil from them, they won't service it. We're gonna actually put it, we're gonna put a little smaller nozzle in, we'll drop it down to 75. Fine. 
well, that's how they get you. They want you to buy the oil. Yeah. If you don't buy the oil, they're not going to give you service. But, really, they all get it from the same place. So you're basically spending, spending a lot more. The way things are now, you need to save whatever you can. Exactly. You're going to spend an extra 30 cents a gallon for flipping oil for what? It's the same shit, right? They get it over there at the Orca Diner. You know where the Orca Diner is? There's a fill station there. And they all get it from the same place. They drive their trucks up and they fill it right there. I had people tell me, oh, he got, he, he got better oil. Because he's, you know. I said, nah. Oh, he's throwing your line of shit, lady. <laughs> yeah, he's got better oil. He got better oil, all right. The uh, home heating oil is the, the byproduct of the. What do we got? Zone valves there? Right here, this is it. Oh, yeah, we got zone valves. When you go turn up as one of the zones, if you don't mind. Yeah, we got zone valves, so you can go turn it up. No power renter. It's a 90 second delay on that. You like being retired? What's that? You like being retired? Not really. You rather be working? Yeah. I kind of feel that way. I kind of like my job. I don't know how I would do if I was retired. Nothing to do. See how it fires up. I'm going to have to readjust the head. Yeah, man. Why not? Well, it takes a minute and a half for it to energize, so she's probably she probably turned it up. <clears throat> Once we start it, we'll check the oil flow too. See what we getting for oil flow. Well, oh, like I said, it takes 90 seconds for the heads to energize. The power heads. You got a thermostat in the first basement, don't you? Yeah, no. Upstairs and then... Okay, you told her to turn it up? Yeah, up here. Okay. some air and did you run out of oil now? No. As long as you open it up a couple of turns it won't be dumping oil in there. It'll drain it. Whoop! She tripped off on safety. Oh, what? I thought I had that jumped out. Maybe not.
Terminal's a little rusty on that, maybe that's why. It's running good though, got a good draft, got a good... Got a good draft over the fire, so you know it's not all full of soot. I put a little smaller nozzle in there, drop it down one size. Got a good oil flow. New nozzle at tank, new nozzle, good oil flow. I did have some air in the air in the line to purge that out. Yeah, like I said, I tried calling you a couple of times, but there was no answer. Yeah, I'll probably out shop. Are you a power shopper? No. Are you a power shopper? No <laughs> 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 Alright, new filter, new nozzle. New filter at tank, new nozzle, good oil flow. We had a good draft over the fire too, so we're good. What were you saying now? This is what I said. Yeah, like I said, I mean... I don't really want to touch that thing because... If I touch it and I can't get it out, now I gotta buy you a whole new tank. You understand? Yeah, yeah. What happens if I go try to be superhero and I can't get that out? Now I'm screwed, right? What happens if it breaks apart and I can't get that thing out? It's not really leaking. Leave it alone. It's a 16, so it's already five years old. Tank's already five years old. I really don't want to play with that thing. Whoever put that in there, he never tight. He never put the proper uh, dope on there or something. I don't know. And we fixed this. What did we do? Oh, we put a new high vent last time I was here. That's what we did. It's almost like there's a flipping hole on the side of that thing. As long as the, as long as it's working, right? Good, good uh, you know, we got good pressure there. We're fine. 